Time running out in the 2018 session. State lawmakers are still working to get our tax system in line with the changes we've seen at the federal level. There's suddenly some movement on the issue, but not without some controversy. Mary McGuire is live at the state capitol to walk us through it. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Kim. The topic of taxes is not the most exciting thing in the world to talk about, but it is important because it impacts every working Minnesotan. After President Trump's 2017 federal tax law was passed, state legislators had to do something. Last night, the Minnesota House passed its bill aligning the state tax code with the federal governments. The Senate is expected to make the same move today, approving a plan that has a more restrained income tax rate cuts than the governor suggested. This is where the political bickering may start. Governor Mark Dayton had said earlier this week he would not sign a tax bill until lawmakers approve more than $100 million in emergency school funding, but legislators are sending that bill to his desk anyways. Now, if the governor does not sign the tax bill and nothing is done this session, hundreds of thousands of Minnesotans could be facing larger tax bills next year. They have called this a tax filing nightmare if nothing is done about this, Kim. Mary, there's still some time for these two parties to work things out, right? Right, there still is the rest of the week to work these things out. But remember, there's still a lot of important issues that are on the table. Things like the bonding bill that have not been addressed yet. They have not been sent to the governor's desk yet. They have until Sunday night to work all of the, these things out, barring a special session, which the governor has said will not happen. All right, Mary McGuire reporting live in St. Paul. Thank you.